Why the hat, you may ask? Simple. My hair is a mess and I'm too lazy to go to the uh, bathroom to uh, comb it. Anyways, I need to take another shower. This time of year, my skin breaks out into a rash because it's so dry and itchy. And yeah, anyways, this big ass box holds a small pipe, which does not need this big ass box. Anyways, where did I put my knife? Where did I put my knife? There did I put my knife. My not quite trusty because after years of abuse, a um, the flathead screwdriver bit fell off, but my trusty Leatherman. Let's open this. Yeah, and in case you um haven't said so before, this is a uh, pipe I ordered. I ordered it off at you know it claims to be uh unsmoked Meerschaum pipe from uh, the 70s. Judging from the photo. Friend of mine, tech, um, my friend me on the computer anyways, from the um, photos, it does look unsmoked. It does look Meerschaum. It's about a um, little cheaper than the same looking Meerschaum pipes that you uh, see off uh, smoking pipes. So I'm uh, you know, not quite hesitant to pick it up because I see uh, pipes off Etsy for cheap and I think, okay, how uh, much quality are they? Wow. <clears throat> I don't know what this person was thinking. Parking this pipe, but you know what? I kind of understand. Um, there's been a few packages I've sent out where I've packed them in boxes way too big for what the product was, but the thing is, I did that because they were the only boxes available. This is a store. You'd think they'd have um, access to more appropriate boxes, but then again, it is Etsy. Etsy is, you know, anybody can have a store on Etsy. At least it ain't talking peanuts. Okay. Bubble wrap. Popping bubble wrap is fun. Come on. Get out of there. Play with the bubble wrap. Fun. Anyways, the um. It actually looks like my uh, first mission pipe that I uh, bought off smokingpipes.com. 
But that type of work on me due to a uh, rather rambunctious kid. Anyways. Yeah, screw on, um... The hell? Okay, that I don't like. But anyways, I will, um... I don't want a pipe cleaner through that. Well, guess I'll have to find some very, very skinny pipe cleaners. Anyways, here's the pipe. And for the uh, price I paid, and the uh, overall quality of the workmanship, I ain't complaining at all. It's got a big enough bowl for me to uh, comfortably put flakes in it. And I am uh, getting some uh, luxury bullseye flake because Fort Noggins is out of the uh, navy flake and you know, um, I always, I have read that luxury bullseye flake is the uh, almost the same as Kamoi's, if not the same as Kamoi's cask number seven, which I remember trying and liking. Decent enough draw. Probably going to have the same issues lighting the tobacco like I did with the uh, other pipe because the, um, well, the hole has a bit of an angle on it and that was a pain in the butt. But here's the thing I don't like. And I won't be able to take it off. Um, this little bit right here, which you can't really focus on. Um, you see that tiny hole? Maybe I'll be able to fit a pipe cleaner through that. But me's got my doubts. Anyways, I do like the um, black stem. I think the uh, pipe I had, which was looked like this, had a uh, orange stem. Now, I will be um, smoking this pipe a lot. Not so, um, not so much that I want to neglect my other pipes, but the uh, thing about Meerschaum pipes is the more you smoke them, the more likely they are to color. And I want this throughout my life to get some color on it. This is probably going to be one of my uh, main pipes I smoke. Also, it's Meerschaum, so I don't have to build up any carbon on it. And they apparently don't ghost, though uh, apparently corn cops don't ghost either. And according to Captain Black Grape, they ghost for a little while anyways. I'm curious. Ah... I won't be able to, well, maybe I can show you on this, but the uh, flat bottom kind of allows the pipe to balance. And I'm sure if it were full of tobacco, it would balance even easier than that. That I am pleased with. Coffee! Yeah, the um, other Meerschaum pipe I bought off Etsy before, I'm not pleased with. It was a bit rattered and tattered, and it had a broken bit. 
And it had some coloring which looked more like stains than uh, coloring. This is vintage, unused. Meerschaum block. Claims to be from the 70s, but I have my doubts. It might be, I don't know. Why it will be unsmoked in the 70s? I don't know, maybe it was some someone's part of a collection, or maybe it was someone from a, some store in the 70s bought it and just never bothered to sell it, and it's been collecting dust in their inventory. I always get we odd when you see vintage unsmoked pipes, especially from that long ago. But then again, there are pipe collectors who aren't pipe smokers. I do see quite a few vintage Dunhill unsmoked pipes, and oh boy, are those expensive. We're talking a couple grand versus... A couple hundred for a smoked vintage Dunhill pipe. But then again, Dunhill pipes are naturally expensive to begin with. And frankly, I don't know why. Anyways, I'm done. Take care, everybody. Have yourself a good day. And bye.